Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Reading Lamb, and as you can see behind me, I have a new bookshelf, so I'll be able to do a proper bookshelf tour without moving books, because that'd be a really big pain. But, like I said, I was going to have a book haul soon, because it was my birthday yesterday, and today I was go going to the bookstore. So the first ones I'll start off are the books I received, and before I go on, sorry, I have my agenda. Um, it didn't make an appearance in the last video. Um, I have a book haul and what I'm currently reading. I'm not doing the next three for a little while because I'm not sure really what I'm feeling like reading right now because I just finished the It Girl series which was ten books. So I'm sort of in the stage where I'm not sure if I really want to get into another contemporary or your dystopian or paranormal. So the first book I received was the Fall to Our Stars by John Green. This one's been very popular with the booktubing community. I've heard a lot of great things about it and it has like a lot of really good, like well perceived authors have quotes on um the covers and like the inside pages. Um this book I'm pretty sure is a standalone. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments if you know. Um it has three hundred and thirteen pages and it was published two thousand twelve. Um basically the story is about a girl named Hazel who who has cancer and she meets a boy named Augustus in a cancer support group and it sounds really in, like really interesting to see how it plays out and what happens I do not know really anything else besides this novel because I try not to watch like reviews because sometimes spoilers slip out um, this is a writing on the spine I really like it. it's kind of unique and it's just a black hardback um, and yes I've never read one of his books before, so I'm really excited. So, the next book um, I received was another John Green book, Looking for Alaska. Um, this one, I'm pretty sure, is another standalone. It has 221 pages, and it was published in 2005. This one, I thought, I might as well, I'm reading Fall in Our Stars, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it, and this one sounded really good, too. And I read the first, like, few pages, and it sort of sucked me in, so... Sounds good. This one's basically about a boy named Miles Pudge Halter, and he goes to like a boarding school, and he meets a girl named Alaska who steals his heart. And it says like on the back, after um, nothing is this, nothing is ever the same. Yeah. So it sounds really good, and it's got well perceived things about it. There's lots of good reviews in here about his work. And I'm hoping I really like his work because he has quite a few novels out and people love his novels. So the next four books I bought today. So to start off, I got a book that I've read before from the library, but I had to have it. And it's Anne and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Um, it's the first book. And this book, it's this. these books are not a series. They, um, the next ones are companion novels, so they have the same characters in them, but they're not the center focus, there's new characters. Um, this uh, has 372 pages and is published in 2010, and I love they have like the, I think it's decoed, decoed, but they have those like, you know, rip, kind of rip gritty pages, which I really like, and I read this at the library, and it took me like a few days to read, and I really loved it, and I was like, one day I'm going to get this book, and I thought today's a good day to get this book. So I decided to get it. At first when I saw it on YouTube and so many people were like, it's amazing. I looked at it and I was like, that looks so cheesy. But it's actually really good. Like, it really shows you can't judge it by the cover and like the book. I didn't judge it, but I was a little hesitant. So with that, the next book I got was the companion novel, Lola and the Boy Next Door, also by Stephanie Perkins. Um, this one's a uh, second companion to... Um, and in the French Kiss, it has 338 pages, and it was published in 2011. And I really like the girl on the cover. Whoa, sorry, she's like staring, but it's so it's such an intriguing stare. I find like I'm like staring at it, and I'm like, like I can't stop. It's she has such a like intriguing stare, like it makes you just want to stare back. Um, it has a well, sorry guys, it has purple letters, and it's like kind of a turquoisey kind of like green seafoam green, something like that. And I'm really excited to read this one because I have read Anne and the French Kiss, but I have not read this book. And I got in hardcover, so it's nice always to have that. Oh, and also I did some research because I was going on Goodreads, and if you guys don't know, there is a section now that shows the releases in 2013. It's like 463 books or something. But I found out the third and final 
which is sad because I love Anne, the French Kiss. The third and final companion novel comes out in 2013. There's um, yet to be a release day. I even checked Stephanie Perkins' website. Um, and it's called Isla and the Happily Ever After. So that's exciting. I think I'm pronouncing Isla right. I-S-L-A for you guys. So this, sorry. The fifth book I picked up today is one that's been on my TBR forever and I've never picked up. And I was like, today I'm picking it up. And it is Match by Ali Condi. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but um, I'm sorry if not. Um, this one also has, like, such a gorgeous inside. And, like, it sums up the book on the inside, which usually is on, like, the back. I like it that way. And at first I looked at this one, too, and I was like, that looks weird. Like, she's in a bubble. Like, I thought it was, like, one of those contemporary things where she has, like, problems or something. She goes to a support group or something. And that's what it was, like, a bubble. That's what it sort of reminded me of. But I read the synopsis, like last October, which is when I started wanting it, and I was like, I need to read it, like, it's summer, I might as well. It's the first, and I'm pretty sure, a trilogy. Um, it has 366 pages, and it's published in 2010, and um, this one, Anne and the French Kiss. Sorry, guys, I'm the boy next door, but I will be doing reviews on those, so don't worry. So this one is basically about, well, I'll read you the little blurb, it's really tiny. Society matched them, but love set them free. In the society, officials decide who you love, where you work, when you die. And the main character is surrounded by around Cassia, I think. It's C-A-S-S-I-A. -S -S um, it's surrounded by around her life. So um, it looks really good. Like, it sort of reminded me kind of Delirium's concept. But I didn't like Delirium, but I started reading a few pages of this, and it sounded better. Um, Delirium just didn't, like, it wasn't as good as I thought it would be, but I'm going to try Pandemonium soon. So, oh, and with Matched, Cross, which is a s sequel, is already out, and I think it's, I believe, like, it's still in hard hardcover, um, and the third book is released in November, on November 13th, 2012, and it's called Reached, and has a girl, like, in a red dress. Um, the sixth and final book I picked up was one I really wanted, Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. And it's a standalone, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong once again. It has 292 pages, and it was published this year, 2012. This one is basically the untold story of Tiger Lily, who's one of Peter Pan's friends, and how, like, she loved Peter Pan, and then Wendy apparently comes and sort of makes it a messy situation. So this one's not really good, and I'll show you guys. So I like the spine that says that, but... The orange and black, like, sort of reminds me of Halloween, but at the same time, I like it. Also, the other thing I noticed, I thought this was a flower, but it looks like a body's, like, oops, sorry, guys. It looks like a body's, or, like, she's a fairy or something. I don't really remember Tiger Lily, but, like, I've only watched Peter Pan a few times. We never owned that movie, yet we own, like, a million others. But I know the story of Peter Pan. I really like the Peter Pan Real People movie from, I think, 2003. I really like that one, and I like the little cartoon, so I'm sure I'll like that book. So that was the end of my book haul. And now I'm going to do, show you quickly, guys, what I'm currently reading. I'm currently reading Match by Ali Condi, which obviously I just hauled a few like minutes ago. Um, and I'm on page 23, chapter 3, right on the page. And it's so good so far. Like, I am probably going to pick up Crossed on Monday because I'm going to, I'm going shopping on Monday. And I'm probably going to finish this because I'm going to read it right after I finish this video. I just paused to make this video because, well, it's, it was the house is quiet, so you know, might as well take advantage of that. And also next week, guys, my sister wants to sing a theme song in front, so you guys will get to see that. Um, I hope it doesn't scar you too much. And also, I appreciate you all your comments, guys. I love to hear what you guys have to say about my videos. And also, if you guys have any links to your book-related videos or any videos, I'd love to check them out. And um, see you guys later. Bye.